Today we ask the age-old question. Will it barbecue? Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer! Anytime we get to eat grilled meat on this show, we know it's gonna be a good day. And who better to sponsor an episode about grilling than today's sponsor, the National Pork Board. That's right, we're about to revolutionize the practice of barbecue and by grilling up some delicious pork on some barbecue grills that you ain't even dreamt about. It's time for Will It Barbecue? All right, first things first, we need to baste you with some meat facts. Uh Now pork, It has a perception that it's high in fat because people associate it with processed cuts like bacon or sausage, but pork tenderloin actually has less fat per serving than skinless chicken breast. And there are other lean cuts of pork too, like sirloin pork chop, ground pork, New York pork roast, and a whole lot more, but the point is there are a lot of healthy pork cuts out there, y'all. Yeah, and we're gonna be cooking up some of those lean cuts today, but as we said, we're not gonna be using any ordinary grills. We're gonna be stretching the outer limits of what a barbecue is so that you don't have to. And for those of you who say, Barbecue is the meat, not the grill. Well, you are correct, and that is still our personal position, but Mm -hmm. our resident culinary expert, mythical chef Josh, has told us that he thinks it's okay to refer to what we call the grill as the barbecue. So, given that he feeds us so much and so well, we're going to call a truce. Yep, so for our purposes today, the definition of a barbecue is a framework for cooking meat over an open fire. Mm -hmm. And that's the part we're gonna be willing. To the grill zone! One trick to tasty meat is to throw some wood chips from a fruit tree in the barbecue, but we thought, why not use fruit from a fruit tree as the barbecue? And we have chosen watermelon, and we're calling this the griller melon. And our art director, Paisley, actually cut the watermelon long ways, created a little footing for the whole thing to sit on, cut some ventilation holes in the bottom so this whole thing can breathe, then took the top of the watermelon, cut slits in it to replicate a grill, and then created a lid Here's the that lid. is actually maneuverable for venting lid. purposes. I'll take the lid off right now. Uh, Rhett, you wanna take the grill off and I'm gonna bring over some coals. Yeah, and I got the to, meat over here. To, to nestle in there. Yeah, like a single layer. A little bit more, I think that's good. And now, this over here. Set this. Okay, now. And I've got my bone in chop. Yeah, this is a, uh, Pork chop, we're just gonna throw one right there in the middle. Hear that sizzle? Oh man, you starting, hear that? It's starting to work, let's lit it up. And so now we're gonna cook it on this side and then we're going to flip it and finish cooking it. Now, uh, the true test of this is not just how it tastes but if it cooks properly because you can't eat it if it's not cooked properly which is why we're using this fancy device called a meat thermometer. We gotta make sure that the internal temperature of the pork gets to 145 degrees Fahrenheit and then you let the meat rest for three minutes before you eat it. So that's part of this test. I think this qualifies as a sharp object, so I'm gonna hold it. Okay. Uh, Yeah, because, you know, a lot of people cook their pork until it's completely white. Well, that means it's overcooked. You want this light blush pink color that indicates that you've cooked it to the right temperature. All right, so now we just, we wait a little bit to sit tight, you know? People gonna walk by, they're like, why are you guys just sitting by a watermelon? What? That, my friend, is a grill. You're stupid. All right, let's uh, remove the. Ooh, let's remove the lid and then check the temp. I mean, it really has cooked <laughs> this pork. Okay. Hey, this is this is promising, man. Gonna, we're looking for that 145 internal temperature. Oh, look at that. What's it? What's it? It's at? at 146. All that's right. Good enough right. for you. Yeah. That. I mean, passing with flying colors. Let's throw it right on there. Look okay. at this. And, uh, we gotta let it rest for three minutes though. Okay. Fully rested. Give me a nice cut, man. Gonna, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna take it apart? I'm just gonna look at that. Oh, yeah. Now, does it have a scent of watermelon? The rub is so strong in a good way. Mm. I think it does. I taste a hint of watermelon. Just a hint though. Mm-hmm. It's moist, cooked to perfection. Man. And then we got dessert waiting for us, the inside of the watermelon. But today the outside of the watermelon is the champ, man. You, you the can, hero. You can keep oh, reusing this. That is that pork fly out of my mouth. <laughs> Just because you're a happy man. <laughs> so happy, man. Pork you're a happy fly. man because you know that watermelon, will it barbecue? Yes. yes. I've always considered barbecue in the act of making love to meat. 
And if you're going to make love to me, why not do it with the best love-making instrument of all time, the saxophone? Yeah, we call this the Kenny GBQ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> all right, so Paisley has took some valves or valve covers and made this meat hook here that then we can open up, put the coals down in here, and then lower the meat down into there. Right. Uh, so listen, I've got the tenderloin over here, but let's load her up with some coals. There's two. Yeah. We're getting some hot ones. Three, four. Oh yeah, we. Five, six. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So now, now take the other side of the spoon and push. You do that. You want me to suck on this and try to get the coals to come up the other side of the loop? Whoa. Ooh, that's good. Okay. So now. I'm gonna have to touch the meat directly. So you're gonna hook it on there, huh? Stick it in here, and I'm gonna hook it like this. And then put and it down. Drop it just like that. Oh, yeah. And so now we're gonna cook it on this side, and then we're going to flip it and finish cooking it. Of course, um, a key to preparing meat in a barbecue is to have proper now, ventilation. I will say, pieces of the saxophone are falling off <laughs> as we speak. Like that fell off. Yep, it's probably going to be hot. That was hot. Uh, I wonder if this part hot. That fell off. Not hot. Oh yeah, do that. That's, that, that's, right that's, circu that's circu circulation. Can you taste the meat? I was blowing, not sucking. Well, suck one time and see what happens. Ooh. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a hookah. <laughs> okay, this has been in here a while, but I can already tell by the way it came off. That oh, goodness, okay. This is not up to temp, but if you want to be scientific about it. Yeah, the ends are cooked, but if by the time you could get the middle cooked to proper temperature, the ends will be so burnt that it's, it's inedible. So I just don't think this is viable. Something tells me that 86.1 degrees is not proper temperature. So saxophone, will it barbecue? No. <laughs> now usually when I get a belly full of barbecue, my next stop is the toilet. So we thought, why not make it the first stop and make it the barbecue? Lucas basically just took all the innards of the tank out and then drilled holes on each side. So the top of this thing is actually gonna be the grill grate. So Link, just fill up the, basically the whole tank with coals. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so that's less than halfway up. Is that cool, or we want more? Uh, we have one more. We can fly it in right now. Fly it in. Let's get another one. Oh gosh, it just busted. We were gonna add some more coals, and it uh, the bottom fell out. We I don't didn't think, even get the meat on it. I don't think more coals are gonna do anything. But you know what? Let's just see. We got a, we got a little bit of time here. Did you did you see that? Here we go. Before the toilet completely deconstructs, we're gonna see if we can grill this ground pork. And also, just so you know, we've got barbecue sauce ready to go. Oh! oh. The backside busted! Whoa! Oh! Okay. Oh, wow. The ground pork patty's still there. I think we're still good, man. We're still good! <laughs> Flip it. Oh. That wasn't a flip, I'm not, oh gosh! What are you doing, We're man? still good! Hey! We're, we're still good! We're still good, man. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. You don't, you, you don't have to see, you don't have to see the other side of that. We're still good, we're man. We're still good. Oh! It continues to fall apart, but we're still good. Yeah, man, we're still good. The burger's still up there. We're still good. I mean, we could toast some buns. That's what the other side is for. Oh! <laughs> you broke it with the bun. It happened before I touched it, man. We're almost not good, but we're still good. Yeah, we're still good. <laughs> Dang, man, look at that. Flip it. You want people to see the other side? You mean the side with ash on it? <laughs> hey, look, look at that. That's cooked. It's a little bit cooked. That's ash. <laughs> <laughs> You dropped it in ash. <laughs> Sorry. We're still good. Anyway. Me and you, we're still yeah, good. We're still good. You sure you don't want to baste some barbecue sauce yep. using yep. a uh, toilet brush? Definitely. Is it warm? 
Is the sauce warm? <laughs> I don't think so. Forget all about that ash now. That's good. You really can't over sauce a patty. Uh, let's test the internal temperature of the patty. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's raw, right? Yeah, it's not, it's not good. The whole base of the thing cracked. Oh, look, I mean, the whole, the whole thing is cracked all the way around. The front, look at that. Suggest it. Okay, I'm just gonna make a little suggestion. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. well. Are we still good? That is still raw. And we, we broke our grill. Yep, uh, okay, I think the answer's pretty clear. Toilet. Will it barbecue? No. Now there are a variety of different cuts of pork and what better way to dispense variety than a vending machine. We call this the Vendicue. Or I call it the dollar swallower meat heater. This thing is an actual vending machine. It's a bit used yeah. and it's a bit gutted because we took out most of the plastic parts except for this one tray which is loaded with the meat and we've got holes all in the bottom of this to allow the smoke to come up and then there's a hole in the top to aid in ventilation. And we got a lot of different cuts of pork here. We got loin, sirloin, ground pork, bone in, chop, and tenderloin all kind of put in there nicely. Since it's already loaded, all we gotta do is load the coals. All right. Yeah. And now, let's push that back. Close her down. Nope, gotta put oh, the oh wood yeah. chips, man. Got the wood got chips. Some wet mesquite chips. Just gotta dump it on top there. Now, get that nice smoke going. Close her up. Okay, this thing's been smoking for over an hour. I'm and, feeling good. And the glass has basically gotten smoked up, so let's open this thing up so you can see. Okay. Oh my goodness. It looks like it's gonna work. Now, hold on. Be before we take it out, you, you wanna test the temperature? Yeah, you, this one right here? This, yeah. That's, a, that's a, nice, a nice looking one. Coming in. I'm feeling very good about this. In the middle there. All right, so it's 159, over right. 145. We should have taken it out earlier, so it's not optimal, but we know this puppy can cook. Now, the problem uh, is, I know it's not gonna take it out of there. I mean, we gotta right. vend it to ourselves. Oh yeah. See if it still works. One quarter. How, mu how much do you think that pork is worth? I'd say at least a dollar. Yeah, all right, there's a dollar. So I'm gonna vend D8. Uh, I can hear it. It's working, it's working. It's trying. It's making noise. Come to Papa. Drop into the hand. Up, oh, up, oh, here. Oh. <laughs> you know, so, sometimes you just Woo! gotta take the whole we thing. We got off. three. Um, yeah, Link, you get one, I get one, and then we get one for a friend. Okay. Uh, you wanna pick that up and I'll just dispense them right off here. Be careful with that knife, son. Here, you take the knife. You want the knife? Okay, I'm gonna just set this back in here. There's a lot more pork in there where that came from. And let's start with this one. Let's just cut this one in half. Okay. Oh. Does it taste like a vending machine? It tastes good. That's good, man. I prefer watermelon pork, but I'm not complaining. This is more high tech. Yeah. It dispensed all the way out and gave us two freebies. Crazy, how'd that happen? Yeah. So, vending machine. Will it barbecue? Yes. yes. We want to thank the National Pork Board for sponsoring this episode. Incorporate pork into your healthy diet. Go to pork.org slash cooking to learn more. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Zach. And we're celebrating our first wedding anniversary. Center of the Beach, Florida. And now, it's time, time to spin, spin the, the wheel of mythicality. Ooh, look at the end. Click the top <laughs> link to watch us try smoked watermelon barbecue in Good Myth for more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Keep your beverages cozy with this GMM beverage cooler at mythical.store.